Okay, there's a great shot there. You're starting to see the plasma build up. So we will hear a call out when the ship is transonic and then subsonic. Transonic refers to the period of flight where the velocities of airflow surrounding and flowing past the vehicle are concurrently below, at, and above the speed of sound, somewhere in the range of Mach 0.8 to 1.2. All right, a lot of numbers coming up here, but for reference, commercial jets have a range of cruising speeds, but most fly around Mach 0.74 to Mach 0.85 which is 480 to 575 miles per hour, or 770 to 930 kilometers per hour. Right now, we're going a little over 26,000 kilometers per hour. So <laughs> compare that to the airplane at 930, it's like pretty crazy how fast we're going here. All right, and after we hear the call out that Starship is transonic, we should hear the call out that Starship is subsonic. Subsonic, of course, refers to the speed that is much less than the speed of sound. So at that point, the ship's velocity will be starting to slow down and we will be looking a little bit more like some of our suborbital flights from, uh, at this point, almost five years ago. Yeah, so re-entry so far is looking pretty good. You can see that plasma field. Uh, also, again, with those missing tile experiments, ex especially we're putting the ship through a lot today, but uh, things are looking pretty good so far. Yeah, we're, we're looking good. I do want to remind people that we are pushing ship to the limits. We've done a lot of these missing tile tests. We did it back on flight 10. Every time we do it, we throw something new and the ship makes it through. This time, we're, we're really pushing it. We've removed these tiles in some of the spots that see the highest level of heating. And we remove tiles that have zero backup protection underneath. So there's essentially just bare steel in the heat of re-entry. And so do not be surprised if this is not a very smooth flight on the way down. But again, this is intentional. We are trying to find what are the limits for a ship. How resilient are we to these different issues that could pop up? If we lose a tile anywhere on the vehicle, we want to know what that ultimate impact is going to be so we've got a couple missing we had a bunch pulled over the primary fuel the lox tanks everything this one we've got a tile missing right on top um, so that's going to see some of the highest temperatures during this re-entry and there's just bare steel right underneath it so we're going to see if starships are robust enough to pull through that also have some tiles missing around the aft flaps, specifically on the leading edge. So again, we're getting a really good look right at the leading edge. That's getting really intense heating. So again, gonna see if it can make it through. See if all the flaps hold on, see if Starship holds together, uh, but definitely could be a bumpy ride, but this is why we're flying. This is why we're flying in this part of the world. This is why we're putting Starship through these flight tests to, to really understand what its limits are. Uh, so we can then move on to the next thing. Just going to be bringing ships back to the launch site for a catch. But for now, still on the suborbital, the light show continuing. Keep following in. I think we got about 15 minutes until splashdown. Yeah, Dan, it looks, you can see the our speed, uh, <clears throat> our speed indicator in the bottom left there. It looks like we're starting to scrub off velocity a little bit quicker. Ship is entering the peak heating phase of flight. <laughs> Looks like we can see some clouds down there as we pass through 70 kilometers altitude. Yeah, the, the sun's starting to come up again. We Ooh, there we go. There we go. Skirt is intact so far this time. If you watch Flight 10, you saw we entered with a little bit missing. That was ultimately traced to a little bit of buildup. We dumped prop on the way. We had a little bit of solid propellant buildup and then 
Uh, either static discharge or the plasma ignited it, took out a tiny bit of that skirt, some of the aft flaps, but Starship again was able to fight through it, make it all the way to that landing burn. We addressed that, changed some of our prop dump con-ups though, so should not be seeing that this time around. And as a reminder, we're, in addition to these missing tile tests, we're doing kind of a unique flight on the way in. It's going to do what we call a banking maneuver. So while we're still going supersonic and even hypersonic, we're doing kind of a banking turn. And then we'll do a pretty aggressive turn right as we get into the subsonic and start doing our belly flop. And that's designed to essentially be the approach that we would do on a return to launch site and the tower catch. So uh, don't be surprised if we see the ship start to turn and make a few maneuvers as it makes its way down to the Indian. And fun fact, even though we're doing all this turning, we're essentially targeting, targeting the exact same spot in the Indian Ocean we went to last time.